I would like to talk about the hypocrisy of Black Lives Matter founders, uh, their purchasing of massive mansions throughout Southern California and the rest of the continental United States, all about safety for them and their family, because the rest of the, the population, eh, hey, you can just deal with it yourself and defund the police because they're just killing our people. And that's why I need to live in a gated community, because I got kids. <laughs> that's nice. And uh, the reason the reason for their la luxurious and lavish purchases we need to cultivate joy. What the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> I thought they were supposed to be uh, big advocates for owing nothing or owning nothing and they'll be happy about it. I guess you can only be happy in a mansion. Oh, okay, cool. Black Lives Matter recently purchased a $6 million California mansion for the purpose of cultivating joy among the black community. <laughs> That's why it's in a gated a, a, a gated community and there's a uh, you know like extensive security that's around there it's for the black community i guess if you get enough of those uh, black or uh, black lives matter f organizers together i guess that could be considered a community joy is a radical act is that referring to somebody specific like joy reed because she's a radical actor on television because god only hopes that the, everything that she espouses is merely a put on but all right then oh uh, black lives matter alleges as a practice and as an experience, joy is something that can heal and sustain us when times are tough, but joy also provides opportunities to explore the possibilities beyond the limits of our daily lives. Would you like some croutons for that word salad? Black Lives Matter, which is under scrutiny over the misuse of donation funds, bought the $6 million property uh, that is also 6,500 square feet and will be used uh, for fellows who wish to learn about how to be joyful during the challenges of the modern world. All right, cool. Those challenges that you helped foment, that's great. But uh, I'm glad you guys have a nice little clubhouse. Some organizations, I don't know, uh, just uh, congregate in a basement or in an old Elks Lodge. Hey, some people even build a treehouse or something. You, on the other hand, like to build a big old mansion. Don't worry about it. Creating opportunities for joyful experience is increasingly necessary, but often few and far between. The organization claimed <laughs> Black Lives Matter Global Network seeks to change that with a new creative fellowship program. Ah, that's so adorable. They're doing so much for the black community. Remember when people actually took Black Lives Matter seriously and they didn't realize that they were total fucking grifters? I wasn't a part of that group. I always knew that it was a front, but hey, remember in 2020, everybody thought that they had such good intentions by, oh yes, Black Lives Matter, how can you not agree with the statement, because if you don't, you're a racism. Sure, there you go. Now they're just open and honest with it, and it's like, we, we need to cultivate joy. Or maybe joy is what they're going to be calling their help and whoever else they can employ to fix the place up and maintain it. It is unknown why Black Lives Matter believes a $6 million California mansion is suited for the fellowship rather than a less convenient location with a glamorous cost. Oh, one could wonder. Oh, but the organization claims the house will operate as a living space for those seeking joy and communal space for collaboration. Again, it's like it's in a secluded area that um, the people that you're purporting to help who I don't even know who's actually been helped by Black Lives Matter outside of just a oddly timed message of support for like Juicy Smollett but outside of that it's just kind of been a fucking lull cow on the internet for a minute but all right uh but the organization claims the house yes so it'll be a living space for those seeking joy and a communal space for collaboration which includes a garden space for artists oh artists who wish to utilize it in dreaming meditating and building joy Again, just these nebulous terms for, for dreaming, for, for we need an outdoor garden space for meditating. It's not like you can't do that in just a quiet room, but you need a just a SoCal mansion to uh, properly uh, get you in the right headspace, right? And building joy. What's that? Again, you haven't defined your fucking terms, but y they're very good at this stuff anyways. But carrying on, Black Lives Matter recognizes the power of arts and culture to dismantle white supremacy. That's why you bought a white mansion in a white neighborhood to dismantle white supremacy. Looks like you're upholding it pretty well if you bought it from a white real estate agent. And bring us closer to achieving full liberation, not just here in America, but across the globe also. That's why, again, one six million dollar mansion instead of several uh, integration centers or whatever the fuck you want to call them. I don't know, kumbaya circles across the globe. Instead of doing something like that, you just pool your money together in one fucking place where you can sit together and 
post really shittily mic'd YouTube videos where you're clanking glasses of champagne. You can't fucking make this stuff up, kids. In 2021, Breitbart News reported that Patrice Kahn Colors, uh, one of the co-founders of Black Lives Matter, found or er, bought four homes over the past several years. The lavish spending has encouraged some activists to question how Black Lives Matter is spending their massive pool of donations from the unrest in 2020. Well, you know what? Hey, we have we have answers. Okay, it's not just platitudes. It's not just obfuscated answers. The Black Lives Matter co co-founder, sorry, she's a floundering mess. That's why I'm conflating the two. Blast financial disclosures as triggering and unsafe. She's not safe because they. she doesn't want anybody else to know her misappropriation of uh, the vast amount of money that they've procured over the past couple of years. As Black Lives Matter, Global Network Foundation comes under scrutiny for its purchase of a $5.8 million Los Angeles mansion. Pet, her co-founder, Patrice Colors, who I thought she resigned from the board or something like that, so she's still being big mad about this. Um, yeah, she blasted uh, finan or standard financial disclosure forms as triggering and unsafe. That's nice. If only you had somewhere that you could cultivate your joy so you wouldn't be so triggered and unsafe. It is such a trip to hear the term 990. O okay. You put a one in front of that and you have my birth year. Okay. Because I don't know what that is. Uh, Color said during an event referring to the IRS form 990. Yeah, she's probably, she has no idea. She's had people throughout her entire life do her own taxes. Okay. She has no idea how to fucking do this stuff. She knows how to, um... Make those forms more complex, if you know what I mean. She has no fucking idea what she's actually doing. Uh, which charities are required to file every year to disclose their financial activities. Yeah, exactly. Remember, they founded this in 2012 or 2013, some dumb shit like that. So she should actually be fairly accustomed to the 990 form. I'm like, ugh, it's like triggering. Oh my god, this is one of the heads of this fucking organization, somebody who talks like a toddler. What is she, 58 going on 12? Uh, she added, saying that she actually did not know what the form was before all this happened. <laughs> Listen, I've been scamming for years, and I've never had to fill out a 990. What the fuck are you talking about? It's because you got a little bit too, um, what's, what's the proper term? Uppity. That's what it is. You spent too much fucking money in one place, you dumb bitch. Colors went to claim fi or yeah, went to claim filing the financial disclosure forms doesn't seem safe for us. Oh no, right, yeah, because the IRS can only target people who aren't frauds and scammers. Is that what you're talking about? This is like deeply unsafe. This is literally being weaponized against us, against the people we work with. No, it's just the organization that you were running and theoretically uh, skimming off the top. Keller said, seeming to allege that people within the Black Lives Matter organization have been attacked and scrutinized for their uh, financial activities. Justifiably so? Is that what we're going to find out? Is that what we're going to find out? People's morale in the organization is so important. But if their organization and the people in it are being attacked and scrutinized at everything they do, that leads to deep burnout. No, it leads to uncertainty about the company. Maybe they were true believers. Maybe these theoretical straw man people who work for the organization and don't understand that it's a big fucking grift. Maybe there are some people that are that genuinely stupid that are out there. Okay. So instead, no, it doesn't lead to burnout when the fucking higher ups are being investigated for big fraud. Okay. And that they're having their numbers run again. Okay. It doesn't lead to burnout. It just leads to worldviews being shattered because they thought they were out there fighting the good fight theoretically i don't even know if these people exist this seems more like a just a abdication of responsibility you made bad decisions and now you think that oh my god now nobody should have to hold us accountable that leads to deep like resistance and trauma and for you specifically it would have to be quite deep charitable organizations are required to release their 990 forms to the public upon request yep and if you wouldn't have bought the fucking house, you fat cow, you wouldn't have been outed. Okay, if you would have just stuck to maintaining the food budget because you can see the other two founders that are there, everything would have been fine. Ugh. Uh, Colors comments had just come days after the New York Magazine report detailed Black Lives Matter organization's purchase of a Southern California home uh, was bought in secret with donation funds. Oops. Uh, the report was later confirmed by the Post. Colors later claimed the purchase of the house was not announced because the property required repairs and renovations. Oh, okay, cool. So they bought it for $5.8 million and now they just got it. Hey, 
we can't quite open everything up yet and we just need to take some more money from the organization in order to properly furnish it okay maybe they're buying a whole bunch of black and brown paint to, to erase the history of white supremacy okay and again if if you were going to be uh, fighting against the system why did you get something that looks so classically colonial with it with the shutters and almost if you if you pull out a little bit and it's got a security system, which remember, guys, uh, defund the police, actually abolish the police and stuff. Except for us, we'll have our own private security, lol. No, you pull out far enough, uh, it's like, are you going to see the white picket fence as well? Because this is just too fucking rich. But that's actually a pretty decent investment, because you can see the posts. They have their little outlined lines there for the entire land that they got for $6 million in Southern California. That seems like a pretty good investment. Like, what, you got a playground in the back? You got a pool? You got a, you got some solar panels? You, dude, you got palm trees? You got the shed? You got the big house and the big driveway? And it's gated, it's so wonderful, but hey, it's not fully renovated yet, so, okay. Home was purchased uh, by Dwayne uh, Diane, Diane Pascal, the financial manager of the LLC operated by uh, Colors and her spouse. Oh, yeah, she's a, a dyke, I think. Uh, two weeks after Black Lives Matter, uh, received $66.5 million from a fiscal sponsor. Hmm, money laundering? Ownership was quickly transferred to a Delaware LLC. Fucking Delaware. Are you, are you, are, are you serious? Delaware? Really? <laughs> Ensuring the property owner would not be disclosed, <laughs> New York Magazine reported. In a phone call reported uh, with reporters Monday, Colors described the home was a haven as a safe space. Yes, cultivate joy, we know. Colors resigned from her post at the organization in May of 2021. In light, no, dark. They only deal with black, black matters. Okay, there's nothing light about this. Of an additional real estate buying spree in which she snapped for high-end homes for 3.2 million dollars in the united states because i have to keep my family safe oh my god but in closing her final statement on this right now until another mansion gets disclosed i'm just gonna throw that out there there's probably more skeletons in these closets hopefully they're ample closets in this fucking mansion because you know, she's a big girl but anyways this these are her final thoughts those considering the the controversy and stuff were right-wing attacks that tried to discredit my character and i don't operate off of what the right thinks about me yes the irs noted um right-wing extremists good to know but with all that said thank you all very much for the gift of your time i've been don consuelo once you follow your gut and get after it take care everyone